lantern curb upstand is built onto the flat roof. Check that the curb is square by measuring equal distances from corner to corner. Lay out the ring beams to the correct side of the curbs. Remove the ring beam flaps from the ring beam. Silicon seal the top of the curb prior to fixing ring beams. Lift the ring beam onto the top of the curbs. Slide the ring beam bracket into the channel on the adjoining ring beam and push together. Fix the ring beam screws into the pre-drilled holes. Fix down the ring beam to the curb. Lift the ring beam flaps into place. Make sure the ring beam flap engage into the correct position. If necessary, seal the internal corners with acrylic. On a hidden tie bar, push the steel bracket into the side of the central rafters. Loosen the prefix top screws to allow the top bracket to move freely. Engage the rafter bracket into the slot provided on the ridge. Screw down the top screw to secure the rafter bracket. Place the rafter bracket into the slot on the ridge. Slide the adjacent rafter over the steel angled bracket. Locate into position with the top rafter bracket. Slide the bell rafter over the prefix ridge bracket. Tighten prefix screw to secure the bell rafter. Cover the steel tie bar bracket with a gusset cover. Fix the gusset with screws provided and cover with screw cover caps. Loosen the brackets on central rafters. Locate the adjacent central rafter into the ridge slot. Loosen off the top hip bracket screw and locate into the slot provided. Fix the next hip and secure screw at the top. Jack rafters are located into a slot with a bracket and a top screw. Rotate the ring beam flaps, keeping them tight against the hip rafter cut. Fix each side of the hip glazing seat into the ring beam flaps. Before fixing the central and jack rafters, temporary fit foam boards against the flap to correctly space rafter positions. Once the rafters are in position, pull the ring beam flap up tight to the rafter and fix centrally with a screw. Once rafters are fixed, remove the foam boards and locate the glazing shelf. Knock down tight with a rubber hammer, then silicon the foam board securely into place. Where there is no bell rafter, glue internal ridge end caps onto each end of the ridge. Run a bead of sealant along the top leg of the glazing enclosure. Slide glazing enclosure over the bottom of the glazing. Remove cover tape from double sided tape on the glazing shelf. Lift the glass into place behind the rafter end stops and press down glazing. Fit all units of glass keeping glazing end closure between the rafters. When fitting roof fence always remove foiled or plastic tape from the surface of the units before sealing. Remember to clear both sides and always use the correct sealant. Remove cover tape and fix glazing end covers, then locate glazing behind rafter end stops. Muntin bars have female and male connectors. Seal both sides of the internal female muntin bar close to the internal edge. Place the female muntin bar under the glass unit and press down. Locate the roof vent outer frame between the rafters. Seal both sides of the external male muntin bar close to the edge and press into position. 
On wider roof vents, have someone push from the inside to prevent deflection. Continue this process on the top pane of glass. Lubricate glass with glass cleaner if necessary. Locate the hip pressure plate centrally over the hip rafter. Locate the central pressure plate over the rafters. Secure the pressure plate through the pre-drilled holes provided. Centralize the ridge between the pressure plates. Fix the ridge cap centrally to the main ridge body with screws. Seal top of pressure plates at the ridge. Locate the cover caps over the pressure plates and fix securely with rubber hammer. Loosen the grub screw on the sash corners with an allen key prior to glazing the roof vent. Remove one side of the roof vent sash. Remove cover from the double sided tape. Slide glazing into roof vent sash and press down. Locate the side of the roof vent sash by slotting the corner cleats into the adjoining internal chambers. Secure the side into place by tightening the grub screw at the corners. Take the wedge gasket and start at the corner, push it in between the glazing and aluminium vent. Snip the wedge gasket internally at the corners. Cut wedge level at final corner. When fitting the roof vent sash, locate the sash into position with the integrated hinge channel. The hinge channel fits over the outer frame hinge. The channel locates at approximately 70 degrees in the opening position. Locate the spindle and tighten bolts to secure. Roof end is now complete. Our roof system is available in any size and any rail colour.